Hey, before I start this video, I just want to let you guys know that if if you ever want, like, if you want to appear in one of my episodes or you want a question, question answered in one of them, just let me know. Email me the questions and I will give you my perspective. My email is at mr.a.walker75 at gmail.com. Email me all your questions. Uh, ask me, uh, get my perspective on uh, anything possible. You want to ask me about uh, relationship advice? Go ahead. You want to ask me about bullying or this, that? Go ahead. I'll give you my perspective on it. I will get into the video. Uh, with that said, enjoy the video. Not tomorrow. Not in the next month. Not in the next week. Not in the next year. Not in the next two years. If you were truly going to do something, you do it now. Stop lying to yourself. Be a man of your word. Make your word count. Welcome to Walker Wisdom, the home and main channel of the Walker Wisdom Show. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful afternoon. One o'clock on the dot. Nose is a little messed up. Allergies, because obviously, you know, all this stuff going around. But uh, today's topic is fairly special. Because I really wanted to get this one off my chest. Quite literally, I do have a lot of stuff on my chest. <clears throat> you know, this congestion, come on. So, I do not know what I'm going to name this particular episode. Uh, stop lying. Grind set is mindset. Something. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to call it. But, I know what I'm going to talk about. So I'm going to give you a little scenario. So you have a friend come by you. He's talking to you. you know, he's, he's very happy. He's got a smile on his face. Hey. Yeah, he comes over. This is what he says. Hey, man, dude. You remember all that stuff that you told me? Okay, let's put you in the background for a little bit. You told this guy that you were going to do something. Didn't really fit in the frame of mind, meaning you were probably lying to him. So, uh, you go up to this guy. Guy comes up to you. Hey, you told me you were gonna, you know, you were gonna finish your homework assignment. Let's do that. You told me you were gonna finish your homework assignment. You ever get that complete? And if you ever sat there. Knowing you know damn well you never did that homework assignment. And you say, yeah, I did it. I did it. Now, why now why'd you say that? Now, I, I'm not saying you were in this specific scenario. But I'm saying, have you ever been in a, in a scenario like this? Have you ever lied to yourself or to someone else just to... Get that little um, responsibility off your off your uh, off your sheet, off your little off your little um, chest. Have you? You know what that's called? Lack of responsibility. Um. So uh, I, I'm gonna stop right. Uh, I'm gonna stop. Uh, stop all this nonsense right here. Uh, I'm gonna say this. After you're done with this video, or you can pause it, you can do whatever you want. I want you to at least do 100 push-ups. I'm challenging you. I'm challenging you to at least 100 push-ups. Now, there are three type types of people. One, you'll skip it and say, uh, pff, "Okay, this guy probably don't even know how to do 100 himself." 
Or heck, maybe you just skip it because you don't care. Second type of person will say, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, You say you're going to do it. And maybe you go to 20. Or maybe you you say you're going to do it and don't do it at all. My point is, is you lied. You didn't do it. The third person who actually has a good grind set, a good mindset, The grind set mindset. That person will sit there and do all 100 push-ups and feel complete. And I I guarantee you, I could give you money. I could give you a lot of good news. But the most... The most... Best feeling someone can feel is that they accomplish something. It truly is. Whether or not it's you go up to a girl, you go up to a girl that you've always wanted to be talking to a long time, and you actually talk to her, you will feel accomplished. Or maybe, or maybe you had piles and piles and piles of homework stacked up, but you did it. You completed it. You feel fulfilled. Give me a little story. So this this school year, I actually thought it was gonna fail my math class. So we're getting a little personal. I had a... Go ahead, bash me in the comments. Do whatever you want. But I'm doing this to help you guys out. So I kid you not, I had a 30 in my Algebra 2 class. I was going to fail. And in the last two weeks... Last two weeks. The last two weeks. Before um, going on to Christmas break, which we are now. I, I only had those two weeks to pass. Now, I could have been a nonsensical space monkey. And I look at my grade and say, eh, I'm happy with a, I'm happy with a, a 30. Yeah, I won't pass. But, you know, no, I didn't. Because I also knew that if I did not pass this math class... I had a likelihood of failing. And, I, I, and I'm and i not failing. I'm not failing. So I sit there. In those last two weeks. And I go up to my teacher. And I confront her. And I say. And I say ma'am. Can I please have all the, all the makeup work I can. In order to pass this class. She gives me. Not a big. Uh, not a big stack. She gives me like. Papers. That, that are like this big Alright And uh, they had after school tutoring They don't have after school tutoring On Mondays or Fridays And Every day after school Every day I'd go in that that tutoring class And I'd finish Not one, not two Three Things of makeup work I was that determined because I wasn't going to lie to myself. I literally said to myself when I'm looking at the, that, that 30 on my uh, report card or whatever it was. I don't know what it's called. That's not the point. I looked at that 30 and I said, I am going to pass. And I passed. I did all my work. I, lit- I, I legitimately conquered my adversity. Oh, 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 look, I'm not going to pass. I'm just going to sit here and fail. There's nothing I can do. No, don't lie to yourself. Yes, you can do it. And just like that 100 push-ups, are you going to actually do those 100 push-ups? Are you? Or are you going to be lazy? Are you going to be a a slob and then let it fly by? I know what you're saying. Oh, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. It might be hard. But what What bad? What's bad coming out of those 100 push-ups? Oh, my muscles will ache. <coughs> <coughs> oh, my muscles will ache. Oh, it's a waste of time. Oh, really? Muscles will ache? Waste of time? You know what your thumbs, your thumbs and fingers are doing all day? You know what's a waste of time? This. 
could be using that time to do 100 push-ups. Complete that challenge and feel fulfilled. Feel like you accomplished something. Instead, you want to give your attention away to videos that you probably don't even watch fully because you have low attention spans. Probably looking at them. Flip, 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 flip. And uh, people always argue this point, and I will argue it back. Hey, how are you always going to complain about social media and you literally on Instagram all the time? You got Snapchat and all this. I see that stuff as a business. Have you seen my Instagram? Have you? I would literally post stuff with like 500 tags or hashtags because I want people to see it because the more attention I get from posting all that stuff, my name gets out there. The more people talk about me, the more people see me, the more people watch my YouTube channel, the more people watching this, it's a business. It's not an art. It's not a hobby. It's not an act of wasting my time. It's a business. Everything you do, yep, yeah, at least see yeah, it as a business. But that's that's not the point of this video. It's not the point of this video. The point of this video is you need to stop lying to yourself. If you say you are going to do something, do it. There is no, there is, time waits for no man. Time waits for no one. At all. If you tell yourself you're going to do something, do it. Okay, I know what I'm calling this video. It's going it, to, the title is going to be something to do with being a man of your word. Or something. Make your word count. That'll be it. If I tell my friend, if I tell my friend, I'm, I'm going to teach him how to box. I tell him I'm going to teach him how to box. And uh, I, I give my word. I don't just say, yeah, I'm going to teach him how to box yeah, as a joke. If I truly tell him, hey, I'm going to teach you how to box, he's dead serious. I don't care how much money it does. I don't care how much time it wastes. If I give him my word, that is my word. I told him I was going to do it, so I am going to do it. My word means everything. So many things in this world are unpredictable, okay? Things we cannot control. I can't control whether or not a, a, a freaking rock falls out of the sky and smashes me dead in this car. I cannot control the weather. I cannot control what's, what random location pops up. I cannot control the, uh, the leaders in the world. I can't even control my health. I am sick. I can't control that. The one thing I do have control is self-control. This. I can genuinely control my mind. Genuinely. I can genuinely control my mind. I can tell myself whether I want to step out of this car. I can tell myself whether I want to end this video. I can tell myself if I'm going to do those 100 push-ups. I can tell myself whether I'm going to complete those homework assignments and pass. You know what also someone can do? They can tell themselves that and slowly lie. Slowly make their word nothing. Why the one thing in the world, your word, why do you not want to make it count? You tell somebody something, mean it. Mean it. I don't talk the talk, I walk the walk. I'm a motivational speaker. This, this is my job. Okay. My other job may be beating the crap out of people and uh, becoming champion one day. 
because I am a boxer. But my job is also to help people. You have to set your priorities ahead of each other and stop lying to yourself. If if you set a date on your calendar, set a date on your calendar. Actually, actually, F the dates. F the dates. No, no more dates. After this day, F the dates. And I don't mean dates as in going out with women. I mean F the dates as in, uh, I'm going to do this on December 23rd. I'm going to do this on January 1st. No. F the dates. That date ain't going to do nothing. If you're going to truly do it, you would do it now. That is why I hate the uh, New, Z- New Year's revolution thing. And I actually uh, had a chat with somebody on Instagram about this. And if they're watching this, uh, go ahead, comment uh, your thoughts on it. But I, but we were talking about New Year's Revolution, how people will say, I, I'm going to be the best me this year. I'm going to be the best me next year. As soon as January 1st starts, I'm going to do this. Know what I find funny about that? Is why are you going to make such a funny claim that you ain't even going to keep within the first two weeks? <laughs> Disappointing. If you're going to truly do something, you'd start it now. You'd start it now. Not tomorrow. Not in the next month. Not in the next week. Not in the next year. Not in the next two years. If you were truly going to do something, you do it now. Stop lying to yourself. Be a man of your word. Make your word count. You think gladiators back in the... The olden days told told their apprentices and told their, uh, their viewers of the gladiator matches... Hey, I'm going to conquer this man, this, 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 that. And then sit at his house. (coughs) Sit at his little house. Made out of effing stone, which he probably made by himself. Sit in his house and do nothing? No. He went out the next day and conquered that dude. Absolutely conquered and demolished everything in his way. Because he was a man of his word. I'm a man of my word. So, I'm, I'm going to make it now. I do not care. Doing it. But I, I am the future face of stardom. I'm the future face of stardom. But, with all that wrapped up, be a man of your word. Stop lying to yourself. You tell yourself you're going to do something, do it. Do not lie. Do not make excuses. Boys make excuses. Men. Men understand the situation and go after it with all responsibility in their hands. And you know that those basic things your mom, your dad have always told you, hey, do your chores, uh, clean your room, all that stuff counts. All that stuff counts. The environment counts. But what gets out of that the most is you being a man of your word. You say you're gonna do your dishes, do your dishes. You say you're gonna. You say you're gonna. Now I'm gonna use a stupid example. I, I don't like playing games because they're a waste of my time. Not because I want to play a game. It's just if I play a game, I'm gonna be so invested and interested in it. That it will be truly wasting my time. And then I'm going to feel like I'm doing something. When in the real world I'm not. Anyway. I'll use games for example. You say you're going to pass this mission in the game. You better pass that mission. Uh, don't. Don't want to try. Uh, well I tried my best. Uh, I'll try tomorrow. You, you know what I'm saying. No. Do it. That was a stupid example. Because I don't like games, but do it. Start small. Go big. What's that saying? That's it. Go big or go home. 
Because sometimes the biggest dog in the world, when he's unreleased from that porch, you're in danger. And there's a lot of dogs on their porch ready to attack the next man that walks by. And all you are is the mailman walking by, getting ready to be attacked. Be a real dog. Be the top of the food chain. Me, the one and only. There is no food chain. Because food chain shows that there is, um, shows that there is a limit. That there is a, a, uh, a perfect spot to be. I don't believe in perfect. Not because of the, the, the Bible and all that, which I do believe in God and all that stuff, but not because of the Bible. That's not why I don't believe in perfect. I don't believe in perfect because if you say you're perfect, then that leaves no room for progress. And always a man can progress himself to be better. There will not be a single man in history that will not be able to progress himself better than he was. Progress. Dignity and responsibility. Those are the words of the day. Most importantly, be a man of your word. This is Walker Wisdom. If you like what we do here, like, share, subscribe. Go ahead, subscribe. I'll wait. Okay. That said, have an amazing day. <coughs> and do them 100 push-ups. That's all it takes.